Flipanything.com here, Flip Anything USA. So on my blog, I share how I've made my fortune in real estate, just doing the same thing over and over again, just buying under market, reselling. Uh, so today I'm gonna explain to you what a real estate barbell is, or, or what I call a real estate barbell. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch this video, very important. If you have any interest in real estate, watch this video. I've been doing this for a long time, and today I'm gonna to show you what a real estate barbell, how, how, it, how it begins, the, the beginning of it. A real estate barbell is what is a term I use. I buy property around my work, where I go to work, wherever that is that I work, and then I buy around my home, okay? And then I buy all points in between, the corridor that goes from one to the other, because that's the place I most frequent, I drive the most. So I end up buying clusters of property around my home, clusters of property around, uh, you know, my work, and then in between, well, then what happens, uh, now, now that I got like a vacation home, I also start buying property around my lake house. I am doing the same now in my my girlfriend's neighborhood. So to give you an example, so it's turning into more than a barbell. It's like, a, it's turning into like, you know, several, if you want to call them barbells anymore, it doesn't really resemble it anymore, but it's, it's clusters of property connected and each cluster is around an area that I frequent. Right now, I'm in my girlfriend's neighborhood. In this neighborhood alone, just in the last two or three years, I have been buying homes because I go to my girlfriend's house. So I, I walk, cruise the neighborhood all the time. So I'll give you a quick tour. This is activity in the last uh, two years, and I'm actually buying one, I'm closing one tomorrow as well. Uh, so this house behind me, you can't really see it, but right back there. That's the first property that I bought in this neighborhood. Then that led to me buying this one here, which I've already sold. And I paid 160 for that, and I sold that for 269, right in there. Uh, you can look at that one, that was called the three day deal. So I just wanna show you that I walked the talk, and that's why I say, you get my book, you take my mentorship, just just follow what I show you to do because I know it works. It's what I've been doing for 40 years. So here's another one. And you can see that I bought that house. That was probably the fourth or fifth one that I bought right there. And then uh, shortly after that, I found another one, same street. And I bought and sold that one, okay? And that one I paid two, that one's pretty neat. That one I bought with the owners already in it. And that one, I just paid two, 59 I think 259 and I sold it for 299 didn't do a thing didn't have to do anything so right there that's one two three four that's four right and now I'll take you we're in the same subdivision everything I'm showing you is all in the same subdivision I'm gonna show you some more that I bought in the same area and it's because just like I'm driving right now this is what I do I, I don't take the same route every day I you know I zigzag through the areas so I can cover the streets and look at the stuff that's available and I find new opportunities oftentimes before they hit the market uh, now here's another one that I bought and this one rehabbed and sold and it actually got rehabbed after I sold it and got fixed up even a little more that was by one of my guys so there's fifth right now I'm gonna show you the one that I'm buying this week and then I'll show you two more that I bought in the last year or two as well you got to know value and the easiest thing to know value on is the properties that you're nearest the ones that you I mean the, it, it's out of convenience you're driving this neighborhood because you know it's it's your neighborhood or it's it's a friend's neighborhood you go to or you know it could be your parents you know if you visit your parents regularly it could be that anywhere that you go regularly it, that's an opportunity to case the area understand the area understand what value is in that area and then when things you know pop up you see somebody starting to fix up you see a dumpster in the driveway you go oh wait a minute or you see, a, you know, different things. You'll learn the mentorship too, <laughs> extra things. You, you'll, you'll smell money. And when you can smell money, here's the one I'm buying right now. That's this week. Okay. Again, another great deal. And that one I'm, I just did a video on yesterday or something where and you can see, I just had, I can't really see it, but I got a dumpster in the backyard. I just had that delivered. And that one I'm going to show you 
just walk you through beginning to end how I how I rehab a property. And this is another one I own right here. That was a beauty. That was really cool. And I, this other one that we're about to go buy, it's another one I still own. Uh, and I'm trying to think of any of those. Yeah, I've sold all those. This is the easiest, most convenient way, especially for you guys that have a nine to five job and you, you know, you don't have the freedom to jump around during the day because maybe you're stuck at a desk or, or whatever. Uh, but you just hit, hit your places, you know, on, you know, going to work, you know, you go to break, lunch break, you know, grab some food and drive the neighborhood around your work. You know, I own lots of properties around my, my building, uh, where I go to work and I own uh, bunches of property and I've been, well, you're going to end up buying both. In other words, I own buildings, uh, commercial office properties that are in the neighborhood around my home and I own houses and other commercial office buildings that are around my office. And then in between those two, I have uh, strip centers, uh, you know, retail centers, uh, again, more office and what we call flex space. Flex space meaning, uh, and, and look at here, now take a look. See all that, see all that crap on the side of the road? Now that, that could be an indication that somebody's cleaning up, getting ready to move. So you don't want to ignore stuff like that. That's important stuff to, to take note of because that's kind of your early flag that, hey, property coming on the market. Now, I may be wrong, maybe just doing their spring cleaning, who knows. But again, you know, follow it. That's because that's what most people are too lazy to do. They don't do it or they don't know to do it. But anyways, if you can afford it, take my mentorship. Now look at here, here's another one. This one I think sold, but I'm gonna find out. Take a look over here. I don't own this one, but again, this is me smelling money, our potential. I think this one sold, I already looked at this one, I think. Anyways, look at here, got a dumpster. Either they just bought it or it's coming on the market and they're cleaning it up. So that's an opportunity. Um, and actually, here's one I could have bought. I wish I would have bought. I just I had too much going at the moment. Uh, that was a good little deal. That was really a nice little deal. Um, uh, so I'm, what I'm doing now is I'm taking you by... This will be the eighth property. This is the eighth. I already own this one. I'm kind of showing you how I bird dog at the same time. Now, this is one. This was a beauty. See that there? Look at that. That's the big one of the biggest houses in the subdivision. And it didn't take... It was pretty gross. I could call that the, the flea-ridden house because it had fleas and cockroaches like crazy. People lived in it were just, they had low standards, <laughs> put it that way. That thing's beautiful, and I still own that one. In fact, you might remember my tenant, Morad. I had him move out of one of the houses that I'm selling in a, in a neighborhood that was kind of like this, you know, a few years back. Yeah, that's expanded and gotten into, you know, become very valuable. And so I had him move out of that house and he said, you got anything else, Tom? He's been a tenant of mine for many years. He's moved for several houses. So this would be the third house that he moved into. You know, I have about 120,000 square foot of rentals. A lot of times it's wonderful. Your tenants will follow you around with the properties that you buy. And so you, if you accommodate them, it's great because you know they're good, you know they're good for it. And you know, uh, but uh, so look, please share, please subscribe, get my, uh, subscribe, subscribe. You'll learn a lot. I've been doing this for 40 years. And uh, you can't fake experience. You really can't. I mean, people do, but uh, in the end, you know, the, you're not going to get the results by a fake guru, by somebody that proclaims to have talent and, and experience that they don't have. So, uh, but you can go to flipanythingusa.com. You can join my mentorship. It's going to go up in January. We can get in it right now pretty cheap. Uh, even my book, uh, that's called Wake Up and Smell the Real Estate. Kindle, Amazon, you get a paperback. You get on Audible now, too. And uh, anyways, that's it. So hope you enjoyed that. That's uh, Real Estate Barbells.